Why did I start doing magic? I had a great uncle that was actually a clown. He did magic. He worked with a dog and a donkey, and he just went all over the world. So I, I was just really fascinated with magic at such a young age. So what keeps me doing this, I would say, um, just to see the joy on people's faces, the amazement. You never know what somebody's going through in the daytime. So it's kind of cool to do the magic, bring that moment of let me forget about my troubles or what's going on in the world. And hey, you just brought me joy. You want to know what I'm going to do that night? It's a secret. That night is a, a comedy magic routine that I'm going to be involving the audience with on the second trick. And then the first trick, uh, a special guest will get, uh, get to come up and help me. I've been writing music since I was probably four or five. I started out on piano, just playing instrumental stuff that I would make up on my own. And as I got older, I slowly started to write lyrics, but I never played in public for anyone until 2018. I would describe my music as emotional and hopefully something that someone can connect to. I very much connect to music that tells really good stories and helps people feel like they're not alone. One of the songs that I'm going to be playing at the show talks about my experience um, being in a relationship with someone who has an addiction and the struggle of trying to figure out if it's worth fighting for that person and fighting with that person or if you should just walk away. Epic has a unique formula where we're reaching out to as many students as possible. Our goal is to get dance education opportunities to students that would not otherwise be able to obtain them. So we have on-site classes and we offer scholarships to students who could not normally afford classes on-site. Uh, then we have off-site outreach programs and then we offer them the opportunity to perform alongside of our on-site students. So that's kind of a unique model. The group that'll be performing in Oakland Scott Talent is our dance company and dance crew members. They're fantastic performers. They're just, uh, they bring their heart and soul to their projects and to their dances. And you will see that uh, in their performance. Kind of funny. We met on Craigslist. <laughs> so I looked up online. I was just like, maybe I'll find a band. I found a post that said, do you love intimate worship? <laughs> and uh, clicked on it and responded to it. And I met Christine. Uh, yeah, because I didn't want to give my first name. <laughs> I think our music is a blend of who we are personality-wise. So Marcus is kind of like, he, he sounds like he could be a famous country singer. He's got this top that's like beautiful and clear. And he's got this gravel like as no other. And I came into music like from a classical background, so like I bring the clarity and the, the beauty, the technique. And then I have gospel roots too. So between us, we have a lot of content that reflects a lot of the problems you see about people getting help for mental health. On a personal level, as a foster parent, I cannot articulate how helpful Oakland has been in our journey. We absolutely could not foster without the therapists that have walked us through it. And so the idea that we can come and raise money with people who are also passionate about this, and I'm on the giving and receiving end of this event. And so that gets me super excited. I think we are looking forward to singing songs that will not just encourage people, but also bring awareness to where people are. So I think after we're done, you'll feel acknowledged if you're suffering, but also you'll have joy if you're not. I would encourage people to come out to the show, not only because it's uh, for a great cause, but because it's gonna be really entertaining. It's gonna be a really fun event. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to bring artists together, which is always a good thing. Come enjoy local talent. This area is full of local talent that a lot of people don't know about. And then the money that you give towards that goes to people who are really suffering with mental illness, not just kind of suffering, but really suffering. Like, it's literally life-changing to have a good night with a whole bunch of people at a theater. So, yeah, you should totally be there. Mm -hmm.